Hey everyone, this is Heather and this is going to be a quick series on uh, our complex tools under the header of complex tools here. So these are some of the tools that shouldn't be used by new traders. They are supposed to be complex and we have deliberately not removed any complexity from them because that complexity, that complexity is actually needed in order to use these tools. We are going to create a short series on what these tools do, how, how do these work and how to best use them. But if you're a completely new trader, please spend some time trading. Please spend some time learning about trading before you actually start using these tools. But hopefully these tutorials will be really helpful, both new and experienced traders, and they'll help you use these tools in a much better way. So let's start with the Hercules tool, which is a block trades traders tool. So what you'll see is we on our options, not our options, on our stocks dashboard, we have a widget on the largest block trades or largest equity prints. These are the largest single block trades in the entire day. So if you can see for KRC, someone just spent $77 million on a single trade on April 30th. So this, this is from April 30th. Then if we go here, give me a minute, we can, not here, here actually, we can see that we have the intraday block trades. So the largest trades during the day, this was a 40 million trade. This was a 28 million trade. And then these are the total sum of all of these trades for each day. So we can see that uh, the total sum is about $114 million for April 30th. And this is actually decreasing a little bit. So the, this just provides us uh, some, some information on how large the trades uh, are these days, especially the, 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 especially the big ones. So we want to see if let's say someone is uh, buying or sharing a lot, uh, buying or selling a lot of shares. One bad thing or one unfortunate thing with these block trades is that we don't really know the direction of the trade. So we can only assume the direction. And so if you are bullish, then let's say you make an assumption that that, that might have been a bullish trade. And so that, yeah, again, that, that's sort of an unfortunate thing here, but still it provides us, let's say some, some anomaly detection signals, or it provides us a signal that's just additional to other signals that we, uh, we are finding, or let's say we have. So let's say you are bullish on a stock, the stock is right on a support level, and there is a, let's say $100 million trade. And you see that the, the next day the starts going up again, and you have another $100 million trade then that might be a signal that this is not some selling. This is actually some institutions buying large amounts of shares for this stock. So that might again be an additional signal for you. So this, this is uh, updated about every 10 to 15 minutes. And you can see we have the trade date. This is uh, an intraday tool. So every day you will see this table change uh, every few minutes. Then we have the ticker. We have the total shares for that particular block trade. We have the share price at that time. And then we have the approximate amount. And if you click on this, you will be able to sort the entire table based on the approximate amount. And we can see that the largest trade on April 30th was this $98 million. This was a single trend, a trade. So someone, just, someone spent $100 million on a single trade. So that, 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 that's interesting. But this HYG, this is probably an index. And since indices are mostly used for hedging and they are used for all kinds of purposes. So when you see these large block trades with indices, you can probably ignore them because they are not really useful. If there is a spike in, in, in the amount of uh, money being spent on these large trades for any index, then probably you need to look, look deeper into it. But if it's just an average amount, so let's say for SPY, if you still see that these these values are all sort of on average, but this this was a spike. So we need to see what happened here. And then we had a spike here as well. So let's see what happened on March 1st and April 5th. Let's, we have March 5th there. Yeah, so you can see that at this day, someone spent a lot of money. We had just uh, touched a support level and we, we the, the, the total amount spent on block trade was huge. So you can see that we had a, a very nice rally. So again, there, uh, there are no fixed rules here. I'm just trying to sort of go over the thought process on how we want to use this. Then when was the next one? We have this one. So April 5th, you can see that here probably someone spent a lot of money here as well. And then you can see that we went up again after this point in time. Right, let's go back to the tool. And so that's what you, you want to do. You want to look at uh, 
for indices sure sometimes you want to look at them but only if there is a spike but for these individual stocks you you want to keep an eye on the largest trades because that can sometimes provide you a good indication on, on what might happen so let's see we have lqd we have ibm here so let's see someone spent uh, about 35 million dollars on, on this trade and the stock price was 140 so let's see what's going on with ibm Right, so we can see that IBM actually gapped up here on April 20th and someone right here, someone just spent about $35 million on IBM. So right now, there is actually no setup on the price action. So we can't really use that information to add to our confidence level because here we, we don't have a support. The support is probably here. So if we were here and then this trade came in and we wanted to go bullish, then that would just be an additional factor that helps us go 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 bullish on the stock because we have a support level, a huge uh, trade just came in. So someone might be expecting the price to go up from here, although they could be expecting the price to go down as well. But since we have one factor that says bullish, we always want to assume that the second factor probably might be bullish as well, because then that adds to our confidence. Let's see if we have something else. Let's actually try to go back in time. So maybe let's go to April 10th. We don't have any data for April 10th, obviously. Okay, so we are, we have gone back to April 12th, about 18 days uh, before April 30th. So let's see if we can find something good here. So XLV, we have SPY LQD, HYG again, this is an index. ABC, let's see what happened here because ABC, the trade price was 117. I'm trying to find something that's known to everyone so dash and baba baba was interesting so baba had i believe some lawsuits and they were under some kind of pressure so let's see what happened to baba after april 20th so this was april 20th and this was the last day as you can see here someone spent about 15 million dollars on a trade and what happened this was the last day that Baba was in a downtrend. The trend actually reversed and in the next few days Baba went up. So again, in, since you don't know the exact direction, it just it's just another signal that you might want to consider in order to improve your confidence levels. So the way we would have used this is we know that this is the support level. B Baba was here at, at that point in time. And let's say when we fell down here, we would have thought that since there was just a huge block trade and we are now right on a support we, we might want to sell let's say if we were on a resistance and a huge block trade we might want to assume that this probably uh, was a sell a large sell someone just unloading their shares so we might we might want to be aware as well so th those were some just some of the thoughts i had for for that particular uh, tool i hope this is useful for you i, I would have uh, you, you might be expect you might have been expecting a more direct or precise way of using the tool but that tool is slightly uh, complicated which is why we have it under the complex tools so i hope this is uh, this is a helpful video and you'll be using the the tool to just add add some more confidence in your trades thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video